Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger Videos. We're going to take the bevel gear that we built in a prior video and examine it to understand the mechanics of how it works. Before we do anything else, which of these gears do you feel would be the input and the output? If you said this was the input, you would be correct. The handle is attached to that gear, which means this is where I'm putting power into the system, making this my input and this one my output. Now, let's take a look at the angle here. Because these are sitting at a 90 degree angle, my drive shafts are going to be perpendicular to each other. This is different than other gears like the chain drive or the simple gear where the drive shafts are actually parallel to each other. That means this gear is a great gear to use if you need your system to actually change the direction at which the gears are operating. A great example of that might be, for example, a windmill. A windmill would show a good example of the input being in one direction and the output being in a different direction. Okay, so let's take a look at our gear ratio here. Do you think that this gear would have a one-to-one -one gear ratio, or would the gear ratio be something other than one-to-one? -one? If you've identified that we have two different or two gears that are the same size, therefore a one-to-one -one gear ratio, you would be correct. These are actually 24 tooth gears, so 24 divided by 24 means we have a one-to-one -one gear ratio. But what if we use a bevel gear in which the gears are two different sizes? Say, a bevel gear that looks like this. In this one, we have a 32 tooth gear and we have a 16 tooth gear. So, in this one, if what would be our gear ratio? Well, 32 on our output, so 32 divided by 16 means we have a 2 to 1 gear ratio. In other words, it would take two turns of our input to get one turn out of our output. That means this system is actually geared for torque instead of for speed. If I wanted to gear for speed, I would actually need to turn this gear and make this my input. And here we can see that the output is going much faster. So what would be our gear ratio in this setup? So looking at it again, it outputs here, 16 divided by 32 means we have a 1 to 2 gear ratio. One rotation of our input gets two rotations of the output, meaning this system is geared for speed. So let's go back to our original bevel gear. And let's take a look at our flow of power. Do you think the flow of power on this one would be reversible or one direction? Well, let's try attaching the handle. So, with that, we see that it does work by, um, if I put the handle on the output, I can make the input turn. Well, actually, I'm just switching the input and output. So, in this one, we have a reversible flow of power. What about direction of travel? Can I do this system in reverse? Yes, I can. So, the direction of travel on this one is also reversible. So we see some benefits to the bevel gear. The big one being, in this one, we can actually change the angle at which our gears are operating, creating some new opportunities for using gears to control a system. Thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of our gear videos or keep up with any other tutorials we post here at MythBadger Videos.